Hi everyone, welcome back to Gadgets Pod. Today, I will show you how to upgrade the storage capacity of your Dell laptop. If you've ever felt like you're running out of space or need faster performance, upgrading your M.2 NVMe SSD is one of the best upgrades you can make. While upgrading the storage, I also plan to upgrade the RAM in my laptop. Since we need to open the laptop for both upgrades, it's a good opportunity to do both simultaneously. In this video, I'll guide you through each step, from removing the old SSD to installing the new one and upgrading the RAM, ensuring your laptop gets a seamless and safe performance boost. Welcome to Gadgets Pod, where every review is backed by real use and tested insights. From smart tech to the latest gadgets, we bring you hands-on reviews you can trust. This is Gadgets Pod, tried and tested. Here, I'm unboxing the items we'll use for this upgrade. It's always exciting to get your hands on these tools and components, and the video description below includes purchase links for all these items. First, we need a precision screwdriver set to safely open up the laptop, a compatible NVMe SSD in our case, the crucial P3 Plus 1TB PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD, and a new 8GB RAM chip to complement the existing 8GB RAM, as the laptop has two slots, allowing us to boost performance by adding it to the empty one. Additionally, we'll use an NVMe M.2 enclosure case, which is necessary for cloning the old SSD to the new one and repurposing the old SSD as portable storage. While some laptops or desktops with two NVMe slots may not need an enclosure, most come with only one slot, making it essential for this process. The best part? Your old SSD won't go to waste or gather dust in a forgotten corner. It will be transformed into a handy portable storage solution. Stick around till the end to see how we bring it all together and make the upgrade process smooth and hassle-free. Now, let's prepare the laptop for the upgrade. Now that we have everything ready, let's begin. Step 1. We'll install the new SSD into the NVMe enclosure. I've chosen this SSD because it's fully compatible with my Dell G3 series laptop. It's crucial to select an SSD that works seamlessly with your device. I used a website to confirm compatibility, and I've shared the link in the video description below. Before we start cloning, we need to mount the new SSD inside the NVMe SSD enclosure. This process is quick and straightforward. Begin by sliding open the enclosure. Most enclosures have a push button on the back to unlock the sliding mechanism. Press it and slide the enclosure open. Next, take your new SSD and carefully align it with the enclosure slot. Make sure the groove of the tiny SSD connector matches perfectly with the slot. Gently push the SSD into place. Once the SSD is inserted, secure it using the plug or screw provided with the enclosure assembly. This keeps the SSD firmly in place. Many enclosures come with a thermal silicone pad to help with heat dissipation. However, since we're using this enclosure temporarily for cloning, I'll skip this step. Finally, slide the enclosure back into the metal casing and secure it. The SSD is now ready for use. Now, let's clone the data to our new high-capacity NVMe SSD. Connect the NVMe M.2 enclosure to your PC using a USB port. I'm using a Type-C to Type-A cable for my PC, but you can use a Type-C to Type-C cable if your PC has a Type-C port. Once the enclosure is plugged into your PC, go ahead and verify that the SSD inside the enclosure is being detected. To do this, open the Start menu, search for Create and Format Hard Disk and open it. If the SSD inside the enclosure is brand new and unformatted, your computer will prompt you to initialize it. You can skip this step for now, as the cloning software will handle the initialization during the cloning process. If you're using an older, already formatted SSD, it should show up in both Disk Management and File Explorer under this PC. Next, we're going to use Macrium Reflect for the cloning process. It's a reliable and widely used cloning software that makes transferring all your data from the old SSD to the new one quick and easy. Macrium Reflect can be downloaded from the link in the description below. You can get the free trial for 30 days and use it at no cost. After downloading, simply install the software on your PC and open it. 
reboot the PC once the software is installed. Once you open Macrium Reflect, you'll see the dashboard displaying all drives connected to your PC. Here, I can see my internal drives, Disk 1, a 1TB SATA drive, and Disk 2, a 128GB SSD containing the C drive with Windows, as well as the new SSD connected via the enclosure, labeled as Disk 3. In this case, we'll be cloning Disk 2. Here, we're cloning the internal boot drive, Disk 2, which contains the C partition, onto the external drive, Disk 3. Start by selecting Disk 2 and clicking on Clone this disk. Ensure all partitions on Disk 2 are selected, as we want to clone everything to the new SSD. Next, click Select a disk to clone to and choose the external NVMe SSD, which is Disk 3 in our case. Then, click on Copy Partitions and select the option Shrink or Extend to fill the target disk. This ensures the entire space of the new 1TB SSD will be usable after cloning. Otherwise, the new SSD will only show the capacity of your old disk. Now that everything is set up, we're ready to start the cloning process. Simply click Next to proceed, then click Next again to confirm your selections, and finally, click Finish to start the cloning process. It may take some time, depending on how full the internal drive is and the speed of your PC's USB port. Don't worry if the NVMe enclosure gets hot during the process, it's normal. So, go ahead and have a coffee break and come back when it's done. Once the cloning process is complete, you can confirm the transfer by checking this PC. You should see the new drive listed alongside your other system drives. Before replacing the SSD in the laptop, we need to remove the cloned new NVMe SSD from the enclosure. Start by sliding the aluminum outer casing off the enclosure to reveal the SSD inside. Depending on your enclosure, this may involve pressing a release button or sliding the cover open. Once exposed, carefully remove the SSD by gently pulling it straight out of the slot, taking care not to bend or damage the connector pins. After removing it, place the SSD in its original packaging or a safe, static-free location to keep it protected until we're ready to install it in the laptop. Place the enclosure aside for now, ensuring it is kept in a safe and secure location. We'll be repurposing it later in this video, so make sure it's easily accessible when needed. The enclosure will play a key role in giving the old SSD a new purpose. Now that the cloning is complete, it's time to replace the old NVMe SSD in the laptop with the newly cloned one. Start by switching off the laptop completely and unplugging it from the power source to ensure safety during the process. Next, prepare your workspace by placing a soft, anti-slip mat on the table. This helps protect the laptop from scratches or sliding while you work. Position the laptop upside down on the mat so that the base cover is easily accessible. With the laptop in this position, locate the screws securing the base plate. Using an appropriately sized screwdriver, carefully unscrew each screw and set them aside in a safe place. It's a good idea to keep them organized, as some laptops have screws of varying lengths. Once, while unscrewing the base plate may seem straightforward, the challenging part is carefully removing the cover without damaging the laptop's internal components. Begin by gently lifting one edge of the base cover using a flathead screwdriver or a plastic prying tool. Work slowly and carefully, applying just enough pressure to avoid bending or cracking the cover. Move along the edges of the cover, loosening it bit by bit, ensuring that no clips or latches inside the laptop are forced or broken. Take your time and check for any resistance, as some laptops may have hidden clips that require extra care to release. Once the cover is fully loosened on all sides, carefully lift it away from the laptop and place it aside on a clean, static-free surface. This will give you clear access to the internal components for the next steps. This is our focus area, the internal NVMe SSD that we're going to replace. It's the existing drive inside the laptop, and in just a moment, we'll carefully swap it out with the newly cloned SSD. Also, we have an empty RAM slot where we put additional RAM chips. First, we need to disconnect the battery from the motherboard. I advise always disconnecting the power supply and battery before upgrading components like storage or RAM. While it may vary depending on the laptop, removing the battery is usually straightforward, and it can prevent potential electrical damage to both the laptop and the new NVMe SSD or RAM. Taking this extra precaution can save you from a lot of trouble down the line. Now, 
It's time to remove the old NVMe SSD. Start by removing the single screw that's holding the SSD in place. Once the screw is out, gently lift the SSD at an angle and pull it out. It's that simple. Once the old SSD is removed, make sure to keep it secured. We'll repurpose it later in the video, and we'll show you exactly how by the end. Take the newly cloned SSD and carefully slide it into the same NVMe slot. Once it's properly inserted, gently secure it with the screw to hold it in place. Now let's upgrade the RAM as well. The laptop currently has an 8GB RAM chip installed, and there's an additional empty RAM slot available. To take advantage of this, we decided to add another 8GB RAM chip, bringing the total memory to 16GB. We've purchased an 8GB RAM module specifically for this upgrade, which will complement the existing 8GB module. To insert the additional RAM, align the new RAM chip with the empty slot, ensuring the notches match. Gently slide the chip into the slot at an angle. Once it's properly seated, press it down from the top until it clicks into place and locks securely. Since the laptop is already open, take this opportunity to clean the fans using a soft brush to remove any dust buildup that could affect performance. Once you're done, don't forget to reattach the battery cable before closing the laptop. With everything completed, it's time to put the back cover on. Carefully align the cover with the base of the laptop, ensuring that all edges and clips are properly positioned. Once aligned, press down gently around the edges to secure it in place. Finally, reattach the screws, tightening them evenly to ensure the cover is firmly secured. Now, let's test the upgrade by booting up the laptop. As you can see, it's booting up fine. Keep in mind that the first boot after an upgrade may take a bit longer than usual, so don't worry if it takes some time. You may encounter an alert message stating that the amount of system memory has changed. If this happens, simply press continue at the bottom to proceed. To verify the upgrade, right-click on this PC and select the Properties option. In the Properties window, you'll see that the system RAM is now 16GB, up from the previous 8GB. Next, we'll check the system storage by opening this PC and looking at the C drive. The capacity has successfully upgraded from 128GB to 1TB, confirming that both the RAM and storage upgrades were successful. We'll also verify the Windows activation status. Click on the Windows icon, right-click, and select System. Then, click on Product Key and Activation. Here, you'll see the activation status displayed as Active, confirming that Windows is properly activated after the upgrade. Next, we'll verify the activation status of Microsoft Office. Open any Office application and navigate to the Account section. Here, you'll see that the copy of Office is active. This confirms that no reactivation of Windows or Office is required after the upgrades. Now, as promised, we'll repurpose the old NVMe SSD and transform it into a high-speed USB flash drive. To do this, we'll first install it into the NVMe enclosure we previously used for cloning the new SSD. Simply slide the old NVMe SSD into the enclosure slot, secure it with the screw, and reassemble the enclosure by sliding it back into its metal casing. Before placing the SSD into the enclosure's outer case, you can now apply the heatsink sticker to the SSD. Since the SSD will be permanently housed in the enclosure, the heatsink will help manage temperatures during prolonged use, ensuring optimal performance and durability. Now, let's plug the enclosure with the old SSD into the laptop. Once connected, the drive will appear as an external USB drive under this PC. Keep in mind that since we cloned and copied all its content to the new SSD, we no longer need any of the existing data on this drive. Although you can simply right-click and format the drive, I don't recommend this approach because the SSD was previously used as a Windows boot drive and likely contains multiple hidden partitions. To remove these, go to the Start menu, search for Disk Management, and open it. Here, you'll see the old SSD listed with several partitions. 
To properly clean and format the drive, we'll use the Disk Part tool, which is a more advanced method. Open the Start menu, type CMD, and run Command Prompt as an administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type Disk Part and press Enter. Disk Part is a powerful utility that allows us to clear all partitions on the SSD. Next, type List Disk and press Enter. This will display a list of all the drives connected to the PC, including the USB drive. Here, we identify Disk 2 as the external NVMe SSD connected via the enclosure. To ensure accuracy, we'll open Disk Management to cross-check and confirm this before proceeding. Look for the drive labeled as the external NVMe SSD, ensuring its size and details match those of Disk 2. In our case, it is recognized as Drive H in both this PC and disk management. This verification step is crucial to ensure we format the correct drive and prevent any accidental data loss. We will begin cleaning the external drive by using the command cell disk 2 to select the target disk for cleaning. This step ensures that all subsequent actions are applied to the correct drive. Following this, we will execute the clean command, which will erase all data on the selected disk including hidden or locked system partitions. This process leaves the disk in an unallocated state, ready for further configuration. Once the cleaning operation is successfully completed, a confirmation message stating disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk will be displayed. Finally, we will exit the disk partition utility by typing the exit command, marking the end of the process to clean the external SSD. After completing this procedure, you will notice that the disk no longer appears in Windows Explorer. This is because the cleaning process has removed everything from the drive, including its partitions. To make the disk visible as an external drive, open Disk Management. You will be prompted to initialize the disk, select the GPT option and click OK. Next, scroll down to locate the external SSD. Right-click on the disk and choose New Simple Volume. Follow the prompts by clicking Next repeatedly until you reach Finish. Once this is done, the external SSD in its enclosure will appear as a USB drive in Windows Explorer. One important thing to remember is that whenever you want to remove or disconnect external drives, always use the Safely Remove Hardware option. This ensures that all data transfer processes are properly completed, preventing potential data corruption or damage to the drive. That's it for today's video. We've successfully upgraded the storage and RAM in our laptop, and as a bonus, repurposed the old SSD into a portable storage device. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to GadgetsPod for more tech tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.